First thing first, I gotta figure out what's wrong. Where's the deficiency? That's my baseline evaluation. What's wrong? How can we fix it? Then we start the program. Those guys know this is not a slaughterhouse. I don't want you laid on the ground, sleepy, nauseous, in the puddle of sweat. This is a room where I give you stimulus to have you adapt. Do it again, have you adapt more, and continue to progress as you go throughout the program over four years, five years, and now super seniors, six years. Then I would have my staff, those guys will start to introduce themselves. They would say their background, where they're from, how they can help you, and how they can give you a chance to enhance your own performance and decrease the likelihood of injury. Then, then Jade, Jade speaks about sports nutrition. She's our sports dietitian, doing a great job. Uh, we can have something that's called Nutrition Talk Thursdays. We just took the screen down. We want to show um, our opponents what we talk about, but on Thursdays we talk about the education of nutrition, hydration, and sleep. Then after that, we make a walk through the room. And you can feel free to walk with me. I know it's the first time in the building. 18 total racks. Right now you see Doc Moores, you see I'm sorry, I'm sorry for the mayhem, okay? But well, we have the elite form at every rack, and this elite form gives us a chance to see velocity, power, work, and also it records you as you go through your set. So we show these guys the technology. What that means, so I'm a registered dietitian. So I went to school for a long time, far too long, um, studying nutrition. And so it's, I have the privilege of being able to be here every day and get to be around the guys so um, I can have more hands-on time with them. Um, kind of go over some of the things that I talk about with recruits, like what I would tell them um, that we do basically and that we would provide. So um, a big selling point is that we have full-time dietitians. So I'm here all the time. A lot of programs do not have that. They'll have their director be their head dietitian uh, or their dietitian for football. So they're not here all the time. They're not quite as hands-on. Um, we also have this beautiful fueling station. So we have a lot of fueling opportunities for our guys. So they're able to come utilize this, uh, uh, utilize this area 24 seven. These snacks are here for them. Um, we also educate them on how these snacks should fit into um, their day. They're all purposeful um, and meant to help their performance. So there are times that each of these should be used. Um, and so we do a lot of education on that, right? So it's not just providing them the resources and the meals and everything, but making sure that they understand why they're doing what they're doing um, so that they can not only fuel for performance and fuel for now, but fuel for life later on, later on down the road. Um, and then on top of that, like I said, fueling opportunities, we also have varsity room, which some of you might have heard of, but it's our student athlete only dining hall that's actually at the south um, end zone of the stadium. So our athletes get, um, brunch there eight to one every single day, um, well, Monday through Friday, as well as an app on their phone called Orange Card where they're able to utilize um, money that we give to them that is meant for food. So that way we can have, we can make sure that that money is going towards food. Um, they can use it at local restaurants, at a grocery store. Um, so that's a cool thing that we offer. Um, as well as, you know, like I said, education. So a lot of guys, my office is directly connected to the fueling station. So a lot of the times, Guys will walk by and they just pop in and we'll end up sitting down, creating a meal plan, talking through whatever challenges or whatever they're having, making sure that they're still working towards their goals and holding them accountable. So um, something that's awesome that Tank does and I love working with him is that um, some schools you'll go to and you'll make sure that you get, you step on a scale and you have to be at a certain number. So that's not something that we preach here. We're more about making sure that you find an area that um, you're more comfortable with, that you play well at and that you're safe you're playing or that you're safe at you're not going to get injured so um, we try to find that happy range there and then we kind of work together to make sure that you have not only um, not only hitting those goals in the weight room but you're also providing yourself the nutrients and um, the building blocks in order to see the results that you want right to see. it's the big 10 winner right you get the automatic bid to the rose bowl last time we've been there is 2008 you know the goal is to obviously get back but this is the first thing that these young men see right is motivation walking into this locker room every single day you know, we want to give them some eye candy. As we make our way into the locker room, you guys want to see huge monitors, right? These four screens right here, typically on a normal day, right? It'll be the schedule, it'll be COVID protocols, it'll be what's on the menu for food, you know what I'm saying? It'll be all different things throughout these boards right here. Right now we got family on it, um, but as soon as they walk into this locker room, their schedule and what they're going to be doing and where they're supposed to be will be displayed across these four monitors. Right, everything's laid out for these guys. And I think about none. Walk into the building, get some motivation with that Rose Bowl, get your schedule, 
And now here's the big deal right here, right? They walk down these halls. So come on into the locker room. Make your stuff at home. As you can see, this locker room is the shape of the letter I. Oh my God, what do you think the I stands for? <laughs> right. But um, listen, this locker is absolutely amazing. Um, and as you kind of go around the lockers, right? So coach, guys are gonna be placed in certain areas, certain sections, you know, um, when, I, when I played for them back at school in Wisconsin, right? Um, our lockers were, my locker was next to somebody that you normally wouldn't communicate with outside of the ball. Um, coach is gonna do that. You know, these young men are from Florida, Texas, all right, they're all of you, right? But you want you to be next to somebody that you normally probably wouldn't be associated with outside of the ball. So this locker room is obviously a brotherhood. Right, as you guys can see some of these uniforms up and recruiting. We got three stations set up and it's absolutely incredible, all right? We got three different stations set up. One right here, one right here, one right there. And they're taking every picture you can think of. And it's awesome. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. During March Madness, we had the game on this TV right here. Obviously, all these TVs work, right? This is a family. When you're at your family house, when you're at my family house, everybody got a TV in, in, in at least one or two rooms, right? It's TVs all over the place. Guys, come in here, have a good time. Guys, come in here. All right, so as you guys, obviously, as you guys come in here, right, from the locker room, right, it's a seamless, seamless transition into the player's lounge, right? You see why these guys don't leave this facility, right? Over here, we got gaming consoles. Guys can watch TV as well. All right, over here to my right, we got another huge TV. I mean, they're watching TV all day. They're doing homework, whatever it is. These guys come in here, hang out all day. They don't have to leave this building. Right outside of the academic building across the across the way, I mean, guys don't they they want to be in this building all day. All right, and we want them in this building all day because they'll come upstairs, shoot upstairs real quick, watch the film. All right, everything is in this building. Right, we want these guys to have success. We want them to be successful both on the field and off the field. But I think it starts. All right, where are they at most of the time? And this is where they're at most of the time. So as you guys make your way in towards the rest of this um players lounge, over here we got a basketball hoop. Any shooters in the room? Any shooters in the room? Come on, come on, Pat. <laughs> Ain't no shooters. That, that is not my nice strength. Oh, it work. Two beers. Mr. Emberton, show me your. Oh! Obviously not, but guys compete a little bit. All right, shoot the ball around. You know, all, every football player wants to be a hooper, right? All right, every, hoop, every, every hooper at times wants to be a football player. But oh, they got to come oh. here and shoot, hang out a little bit. As you can see, we got a ton of games. We got some ping pong right here. Now, all my Forrest Gump fans, all right, some ping pong, just smacking around a little bit. I'm no good at ping pong. That is not my sport, all right? That's not what I'm good at. This is what I am good at. Any pool shark in the building? No? Don't be scared. Nah, you're all scared, man. Obviously, My name is Patrick Pearson. I'm the director of football branding. Travis Perry's in the back. Wave your hand, Travis. I can't quite see him. He's our uh, lead graphic designer for the program. Um, this is kind of what a setup looks like, uh, more so for uh, midweek photo shoots. So there's two photo shoot stations here that we take the recruits through. And then we take we make this setup down the locker room. So you guys are just down the locker room, I think. And, and we'll have three different bays down there. Um, you guys saw how the locker room was sectioned off into four different areas. We'll fill up those bays with backdrops. So we got our white backdrop over here, the black backdrop over here, and the orange backdrop, of course, that we put the recruits through. So they all have like different purposes. Uh, the white backdrop kind of helps us capture images of the recruits for graphics and things going forward. It's also a really clean look. The black backdrop is really dramatic. I'm sure you've seen some guys post some photos and. Um, it's really dramatic what we can do on the black backdrop and then the orange. You got to have the orange in there as well. So we have the kids do the orange backdrop as well. So really unique that we take the recruits through three different stations. Um, we try to provide them. Now, 
2022s, we can provide them with photos when they leave, and anybody else that's younger, we can't do that. Um, they take them with their phones and stuff like that. But to give you an idea, um, last weekend we had a handful of players here, and, and Travis, correct me if I'm wrong, I think we, we had over we shot over 2,000 photos um, last weekend. So just think about that. Um, between that many kids in three different stations, um, we do that all in the locker room, turn the music way up, Usually that speaker would be playing when you guys walked in. We figured there'd be cameras and stuff, so we wouldn't want to drown you out there. But um, we just try to create an atmosphere um, where the kids get really excited. You've seen plenty of social media posts where they post their photos, and it's an experience. And if you look behind some of you right there, you can see some of the helmets. Um, they have different family visors, you know, class visors, you know, blue mirrorless visors, you name it. Everybody wants to wear a visor when they do a photo shoot. So. My job is to help them with their branding from the time they're, they, they're, the recruitment starts while they're here and beyond. So this is the start of that. So we hope, um, you know, give them some social media content and let them kind of document their experience. So um, that's kind of the setup and what you're looking at. We do some video, we'll do some interviews here as well. So we take all this, put it down there as we will tomorrow, and then uh, we'll bring it back up on, on, on Saturday and get set up for the next week for any midweek visitor, which we just had a photo shoot about 35 minutes ago, so you guys missed a little activity. Uh, but um, it's a fun experience for us. It really gets us, Pat can tell you, it, it, it draws the personality out of some of the kids. You really see, you know, come, to them, they come in kind of, sometimes some kind of quiet, trying to figure everything out. You're around a lot of new people. It draws their personality right out. Some are very natural to it. We, we go through their book of poses that Travis has over there where we teach them what to do and that's entertaining to see us doing poses but um, a lot of them come in and really know what they want to do so one on one and anything I do here it kind of carries over to full screen so the functionality of it um, this is a pretty pretty handy workspace and, and, and very functional um, I haven't moved in officially yet um, you can see that orange eye up there that actually lights up that, uh, so when the orange eye is lit, that means don't bother me. Uh, when it's unlit, it means I'm approachable. It sounds funny, but like a lot of times I'll be on the phone here and I'll be involved in a phone call, recruit to academics or whatever, and somebody's outside banging on the door and I can't be like, hey! <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like it took us about two weeks to figure that out. Um, but So we made some um, little adjustments. Uh, we're going to actually tear this up, move the desk out, and turn it because I want to watching film and my head's turned here to get here and my wife was wondering why my I'm always looking like this at home so we're going to make this a little more functional um, kind of set that area up over there because it's a really good area but I like to have one-on-one -on -one meetings so we're going to put a table over there that allows me to have some like one-on-one -on -one meetings with either a player or a person or someone um, that's a little more functional and the best aspect is just to have this outside that's setting up for our paintball if you guys uh, feeling confident after dinner um, <laughs> we can uh, put you in some camo and get you out there, uh, but to have that out there, um, uh, you know, for a, a practice surface and have that ability, it just kind of opens up. And this walkway here actually walks past all my assistant coaches. All my coaches have a have an office on this side. It starts with uh, my two coordinators and my two line coaches, and then it kind of works our, our way down. So it's kind of a very functional workspace. Right here near me is uh, the first office is Pat. Uh, well, obviously uh, my administrative assistant sits outside here, but uh, it's Pat, and it's Nate, and it's Pat Pearson, and it's John Marinelli. Some guys that I work with a lot quite are very, very close to me. Um, and we kind of just, we're defensive. Uh, staff room is right across the way. If you walk through there, we don't want to walk through there. That's my, my, my locker room right through that door. But it walks right into my staff room, so it's a pretty functional area.